Okay, guys, I want to show you how to make a water filter in an emergency scenario. All right, obviously, don't do this camping. Take bottled water. This is if you have no other access to drinking water. Let's say uh, you're in a tight squeeze. You have to get it out of a old water heater or, uh, I don't know, just a pipe that's been cracked or something. You can have metal sediment and all kinds of crap in there. Right. This will not work for chemicals, but it'll get other solids out. So you'd have to boil it, and uh, I'd recommend letting the water sit. Let the sediment go down to the bottom, then you pour it through a filter. The more layers, the better, and the more times you filter it, the better. And then uh, you boil it, assuming there's no chemicals in the water. We're going to use some common household items or examples of common household items. I have here just paper towels. We all have these in our home. You can use coffee filters that work out probably better. It's got uh, some packing foam. Got a towel. You could use a hand towel, cleaning towel. You could use, even use a bath towel. Just cut it up into sections and there you go. You can use rags. I have an example here. A old but clean t-shirt. Got a clean jar to catch water. Going to use a two liter soda bottle. It's the perfect shape. They're in just about everybody's home. There's our contaminated water. It's been sitting a while, so we'll stir it up. It looks like chocolate milk. It's that filthy. Um, got some extra water in case we need it. And we have some charcoal. This is natural charcoal. You can't use Kingsford. No briquette shit. It's got chemicals in it. Right? It has to be natural. You can't use um, anything like this, anything that's been treated. No treated wood. It has chemicals in there. It's got paint and just water protector. I mean, that, that's not going to work. You're going to put this in your body. Same thing if, uh, if you use a lot of uh, pesticides and chemicals in your yard. Probably don't use that either. But if you find a good source, natural charcoal is easy to make. Um, from what I understand, most household filters use coconut charcoal. I don't have access to coconut, so I'm just going to use oak. Now, to make charcoal is pretty easy. Obviously, you burn wood. Now, when it turns black and it has a, like white stripes that will appear on it, kind of appear and disappear, that's when it's charcoal. If you're doing this in a pit, you can just close it, let the fire suffocate, let it cool down, get the charcoal, break it up. Or throw cold, or just throw water on it. Put it out, and uh, there you go. Let it cool down. You break it up. That's exactly what I did here. So, let's get started. Going to put first layer. Remember, like if you're going to use charcoal, something to keep obviously the charcoal from falling out to the bottom. So, first layer. Going to have a paper towel. Lay the foam next. It doesn't have to be these things, just common just examples. Uh, we'll use the, uh, this rag next. Now, when you do this to survive, you want to be a little bit more thorough. I'm just giving you an example, so the water should come out cleaner in real life if you take your time. I guess I'll use a t-shirt next, slash rag. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and use a charcoal. Now, I collected this from around the parking lot, so it's got all kinds of crap in it. Use this. Last, the uh, another paper towel. So, we get the basic idea. Got several layers to catch all the contaminants. I'm going to start with the first. I'm not left handed, but I'm trying to do this anyway. See all that crap in there? They get worse as they go. Let's go ahead and just look at the color of that. Oh, there's still a lot of stuff in there. Let's go ahead and contaminate this crap, huh? Yeah. There we go. Let that soak in a little bit and go down. 
Now, it shouldn't happen right away. The longer it takes, actually, the better. Catching more of that, it's taking time. So it's starting to lower down. I guess I'll uh, get this next. Look at that. Looks like chocolate milk. Looks actually worse on camera, or in real life, than it looks on camera. Let's put this next one in. We'll do the same thing. Let's use some of this extra water. Get those impurities. Okay, we're starting to speed up a little bit. Let's go ahead and put the last. Mm. Okay. Uh, yeah. Oh, we got some more too. Two. Okay, so let's look at that. Let's just set it down. Gonna add a little bit more water. Now the you can see how it's got just a little bit of black. It's not brown like the water was. A little bit of the charcoal goes in, but not very much. I'm going to add some more.
Okay, so. See how it's starting to settle there. So, what you would do now in a life or death situation, you would take that, maybe run it through another filter, and then you'd want to boil it. They say 10 minutes of, of, of a hard boil. I would say, hell, 15 or 20 just to be safe. Now, these are just examples of stuff you can use, but just keep it in mind, it might come in handy.